Hello and welcome to this video on a mathematical approach in economics. In this video we'll use simple linear equations to solve mathematical problems related to supply and demand. On your screen you will find the demand curve, downward sloping as explained in the previous videos. If we look at that math, then it says y equals ax plus b. In economics, quantity demanded equals a times p, p being the price, plus b. So how can we rewrite this equation? First, in y equals ax plus b, a is the gradient, which is found by dividing the difference in y, or delta y, over the difference in x, delta x. The difference in y is the difference in price, which is 0 0.5. The difference in x is minus 11. Please be aware of the sign. Here, price goes up by 0 0.5, so quantity demanded falls. We can also go the other way. Price falls, and then quantity would increase. Then the minus would be with the price. The result would be exactly the same. The gradient, the A, is therefore 0 0.5 divided by minus 11, which gives minus 1 over 22. So if we fill that in, we get P equals minus 1 over 22 times the quantity demanded plus B. We then take one point of the curve. For example, at a price of 1, the quantity demanded is 11. And we fill that in in the equation. That leaves us with one variable in an equation so we can solve it. This results in b equals 1.5. We now have the equation p equals minus 1 over 22 times quantity demanded plus 1.5. As you can see, this does not meet the criterion as shown in economics. We bring quantity demanded as the variable to the left side and we bring p as a variable to the right side. We then multiply both sides by 22, which gives quantity demanded equals 33 minus 22p. We can do the same for the supply curve. Again, we will find the supply for bananas, and we'll have a look at the same price difference and quantity differences. Again, y equals ax plus b, and you will not be surprised to find that in economics we write q S as quantity supplied equals A times P plus B. Again, we will look for the gradient, delta Y over delta X. The difference in price is again 0 0.5. But in this case, because of the law of supply, quantity supplied increases. In this example, by 80. So we can find A by dividing 0 0.5 by 80 which brings us to 1 over 160. Again, we have not found the equation as we want it to be written in economics, because we have P equals 1 over 160 times quantity supplied plus B. Again, we take one number on the curve. In this case, the price of 1 euro and the quantity of 300. We can then solve for B and b is minus 7 over 8. That gives us p equals 1 over 160 times quantity supplied minus 7 over 8. If we then want to write it in the proper format, we bring qs to the left and price to the right. If we then multiply both sides by 160, we get quantity supplied equals 160p plus 140. This is the equation for the supply curve. Let's see if we can determine market equilibrium based on two linear equations. On your screen you will find two different examples. Quantity demanded equals minus half p plus 145. Quantity supplied equals 2p. In market equilibrium, we know that the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied. 
Therefore, minus half p plus 145 equals 2p. We then bring the 2p to the left and the 145 to the right. That leaves us with 2.5p equals 145. That means p equals 58. If p is 58, we can fill it in in either equation. For simplicity, let's use quantity supplied. 2 times p means 2 times 58 gives a quantity supplied of 116. That means we expect quantity demanded to be 116 as well. So let's check. If we fill that in, we indeed get 116. So that means market equilibrium is established at the price of 58 and a quantity of 116. In economic terms, the market price is 58 and the quantity traded is 116. Now it is time for you to apply what you've learned. Please continue to the test. Good luck.